Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello guys, this is Ranger Rob. This is part four. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the chicken pen a little bit. And also just uh, some of the craziness going on here. So uh, I'm working my way to the chicken pen. So the birds are doing good. Uh, weather's been really hot. Uh, and I thought I'd show you how the chicken house is coming along. And uh, this week is kind of a, well next week, it's kind of tough because for those of you who follow the story, we uh, um, bought this from my mother-in-law. And uh, she's, we were in Arizona and uh, She's in assisted living down there. Well, now that we're up here, we've been making the arrangements to bring her up here. Not an easy task with COVID. Um, so anyway, this weekend, <laughs> we have family coming down to help out. And uh, they're going to fly down to Arizona. We left a car down there. Um, we're renting a truck. There's going to be hiring movers to move her stuff into a truck. And we don't want to put her on an airplane. She's uh, uh, we're just going to protect her as much as that. And they're going to drive non-stop from Arizona here to Central Oregon. Long trips, like 26 uh, hours. She's done it before. It works, does pretty well. So that way we can keep her um, not getting exposed to a lot of stuff um, that could happen if we went to an airport. So that's going on at the same time. So the chicken house project will probably slow down a little bit this week and next week, or part of next week. Um, and uh, but I show you what we've done so far. So now you can see the house coming together. And so uh, let me show you a little bit of what we've done. Sorry for the wind again. Um, these are going to be our nesting boxes. We're going to make them where they have to come up and go down. We understand that that may help keep our eggs clean. Uh, we'll also be able to shut off these doors uh, with a, a just block them when we don't want the birds in there. Uh, anyway, the doors, there's going to be two of them. One will fold down, one will fold up. This way we can clean these boxes very easily. You notice there's no lips or anything on here, so everything will sweep out very easily. We can bring a wheelbarrow in here. This will be the inside. Once again, no lip. Um, there'll be doors here. We've still got to do a roof. We're putting more ventilation in. There'll be ventilation in the front, so we're putting ventilation in three spots, and hopefully that's enough. If it isn't, in the future we'll cut a hole to make a fourth vent. Um, Everything's designed so it will sweep out very easily and we can bring a wheelbarrow right here. And this is the other side where we put four more. Now we have ten ch chickens coming while we have them. We really don't think we need all eight boxes, but we'll see. Or maybe we'll get more in the future. But it's coming together very nicely. Uh, it's kind of custom design. We don't have a schematic. We're kind of winging it. Um, and uh, as we put it together, we go, oh, maybe we should add this, add that. Uh, I can tell you one thing. Building one of these with your wife, uh, you better have a sense of humor. Because you'll be butting heads all the time. <laughs> but uh, in a good way. We've been married almost 40 years, so we're kind of used to it. Um, we uh, butt heads, come to a conclusion. And usually between the two ideas, we get a really great idea. So uh, that's the status there. And uh, we're excited to get this done. I, like I said, it'll slow down a little bit. But our family's going through the change of uh, getting her mother up here. And uh, so if a lot of people may ask, is like, how did you get this place? And so, no, we did not inherit it. Uh, what we did is we bought it. And, uh, um, and we paid fair market price for it so uh, 
Uh, the reason being is because there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, to manage it from Arizona was one thing. Two is we love Central Oregon. And the other thing I want to do let you know is my experience with birds, uh, although I'm still learning, um, I used to have a game bird farm. So in the year 2000, something like that, we lived here in Central Oregon. And we had uh, we raised uh, pheasants, exotic pheasants, and uh, checker. And uh, we did it in a large scale, and we sold our birds to hunting reserves. So we never actually butchered any of our, our birds. We actually sold them to hunting reserves, which hunting reserves, what they do is they'll buy whatever they need for their scheduled hunters, release birds the day, the morning before they go hunting. And uh, we always liked that because I'd rather that the hunters would go after our birds that we kept them as wild as possible. We had flyaway pins and stuff. Um, but I'd rather that they hunted our birds than wild birds. So I thought I was doing a good thing, and I still do think that was a good thing. So that's our experience with birds. Uh, however, this kind of design is totally different. I was going to build an old traditional kind of square kind of thing, but we thought, no, we could do better than that. So we're going to try this new hoop stuff and a nice chicken house. In the old days, my chicken houses used to be just an upside-down box with a hole in the side, and we could lift the top. Now we're getting high-tech because we really want really good eggs, which will have just brown eggs, and two, uh, clean eggs um, in case we want to sell a couple dozen off the front when people want to buy our eggs. We'll see. I'm not trying to make it big money, but it's always I know we're going to have too many eggs. So anyway, uh, that's how we got this five acres. Uh, so uh, yeah, we still have a mortgage just like everybody else. Um, but uh, uh, we got a good fair price because there's so much work that has to be done on this. Uh, in a few weeks, we're actually having a new roof put on the house. We have to have new siding put on the house. And we got tons of projects and obviously to maintain what's already here it's going to take us a year just to get the yard back to normal. Um, Sherry's folks were getting up in age. Their last five years, they let a lot of things slip, which was okay. It's understandable. Not upset about it at all. Um, we're probably not going to take it totally to the level that they had it during their prime uh, because we'll be getting older someday too, and we don't want to maintain as much and don't want the same problem to happen to our kids. And yes, everything we're doing for this property is with the intention that one of our kids might want to buy it um, when we can't do it anymore. So like roofing, we're putting 40-year four year guaranteed roofing on it. Everything will be at the best standard possible. So if the kids do buy this place, um, then uh, they won't have as much maintenance. But uh, anyway, it's been fun. It's been great. It's been hard. Uh, good and healthy for me and Sherry. I, I, every day I go to bed with sore muscles. And I need it. I need to lose weight. So, Anyway, so this is the latest. Um, with the chicken coop, we got some other things I want to do. I am going to go more into uh, the property a little more and show you around more. Um, and uh, it's kind of interesting. This property, even though if you look at the pictures it looks smaller than five acres. That's because they only fenced like two and a half acres. Um, just the part they want to maintain. And then everything's covered with a deer fence. So uh, um, so I got acreage beyond this property. So someday if I want a horse or something, um, we could do that. We are limited to what livestock we can have on this property. We cannot have cows. We cannot have pigs. And tell you the truth, I don't mind because I'll go into a co-op before I actually have to take care of that. We are thinking about doing meat birds in the future and possibly some checker just because we love checker. So anyway, that's what's going on today. Thank you for watching. Please follow our channel. Uh, we will be having all kinds of very interesting stories coming up, um, projects going on more cages to build and uh, uh, 
the garden. Um, way back here, uh, behind here, we're actually marking the ground already for the garden. And I might cut the garden in a few weeks. But I don't think I'm going to make any planting time. But uh, So yeah, gardening's going to be big. We're really putting emphasis on self-reliance, too. Um, on some of our utilities, we have our own water. However, we still are under the problem of, just like you, uh, relying on electricity. So next week, we're buying a generator, hiring an electrician, and making a conversion in our well house so we can power the well house and also power our um, our freezers and any miscellaneous things we might need if the power was to go out. But we won't be out of water. We'll always have water. And if I have the generator on the well, I can water all this property. So that's the plan and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so anyway guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, Leave your comments below. We'd love to hear what you're up to, what you're doing to get away from the city. Are you doing any prepping? Are you thinking about homesteading? You don't have to go hardcore. You don't have to have them cows and, and goats and sheep if you don't want to. Just do game, you know, just do birds, um, eggs and stuff. Get more self-reliant on your water and get more self-reliant on your food. So uh, anyway, that's our plan. And uh, We'll take you on the journey. Uh, but you have to subscribe. So anyway, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.